is a business consultant for actors and an independent casting director. To watch the self-assured Frankian in action with client Celeste McLean, it's easy to forget the wheelchair Frankian needs to get around. I want to produce a small play, and I'm still working on the script to have people in mind. Do you have a press list? Do you have an updated press list that you are going to be able to, uh, to work with? because, number one, you want to get the press there. Although only 30-something, the Boston-based Frankian's professional wisdom comes from 16 years she spent acting on television, films, and stage. The roles that I've played on stage um, have often been uh, the saucy, feisty, um, assertive women, often the best friends. But never the lead. Why? You're going to have to ask uh, producers out there in surround Boston, New York, and L.A. about that. Frankian is frustrated. Frustrated that producers and casting directors can't seem to get past the wheelchair. Frustrated that the entertainment industry, an industry that likes to pride itself on its open-mindedness, seems to define this actor by her physical limitations. I was recently called in for something, and I went in, it was for an industrial, and Everyone else had character names, so when they slated to the camera, they said their name, and the name of my character on the script was Woman in the Wheelchair. Can we not at least, you know, give the individual a name? And we are not seeing a full representation of the world on television. I could count on one hand the amount of times that I've been called in for auditions for straight roles, meaning those that don't have anything to do with a disability. Forget that. I don't want the kitchen to be too hot. I'll make the apple crisp instead. Frankian's own disability emerged at age one. I could walk, and I fell. I walked, and I was falling, and my parents saw there was a problem, so they brought me to the doctor. Long story short, they did a muscle biopsy, and um, the doctor came back and said, your daughter has six months to live. Many people diagnosed with the same neuromuscular disorder, spinal muscular atrophy, die before the age of six. I'm very lucky to have spinal muscular atrophy and to be so independent because this disease devours the muscles. Now, Frankian is focusing her fight on changing the casting practices of producers. We need to come a lot further. We haven't scratched the surface yet when it comes to casting physically challenged actors. It's not happening. In fact, physically challenged actors are visible in only 1.9 percent of primetime programming. That's disgusting. So we need producers, television, film, and theater to open their minds and start utilizing physically challenged talent for all different roles. I want to be seen for who I am, not not the chair that I sit in. I am a strong, compassionate, driven, loving, assertive woman. A woman.